Hey guys, Angie here and welcome to a brand new current household video for the month of January and as you probably know I haven't even uploaded a current household in like forever purely because like since my last current household I haven't really enjoyed playing the game on my own like outside of recording like I've tried making current households and I've tried making them interesting and I just end up not playing them and I just get bored really this is the main thing but this time this month I should say I've like I've changed it up a bit I've done something that I never normally do and I really 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 love this current household like so much they've become a part of me <laughs> and um, I just wanted to share them with you because I love them so much and they got like a really uh, big backstory so yeah there's that if you can't tell already we live in Sunset Valley so yeah and it's it's summer right now but uh you know it's kind of raining out and if um you can't tell we live like right on the beach as well so it's like gorgeous and I did make this house it is in progress so you know don't comment and be like oh my god that house is like nasty because it is in progress um we're nowhere near done it's really really basic for now it's just so you know they had somewhere to live because their old house was like one of the starter houses and there's quite a few sims now and they needed somewhere else to live and we haven't got all the money in the world so this is where they live in and uh, it is not done yet but it's cute it's cute i like it so yeah so i guess um first things first i will start off with a tour of the house okay all right so i don't know why my game's been like a little a little freaky so you come in through the door here we have toys everywhere <laughs> But uh, you come in and there's like, you know, dark red walls. We have like a coffee table here with a little cactus plant thing. A leather chair here and a really cute painting. I love that. Um, and then um, a really cool painting on the wall here. Through here is the kitchen. I really like the kitchen. It's like simple but really, really nice. Um... We have a fridge here, we have these counters which are my favourite counters, they're from the store. Little decorations, the deep fat fryer, um, microwave, this is from Country Living, I love that. Just some basic um, washer and dryer, some paintings from uh, Seasons. This, uh, I think it's custom content, this dining set, but I really love it. So yeah, this is like the the kitchen. It's really simple, really cute, and the rug is from Nautical Living from the Sims Restore. So in here, we have a simple bathroom. The toilet is nasty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have a shower from Seasons, I believe. Uh, litter tray for the kitties a um, custom content picture on the wall, um, custom content counters, bubble bath <laughs> and a custom content massive mirror. I love it. I love, love, love it. So as, as you walk through here you get to like our little living room area so to speak and um, I did not notice that this was like off. My bad. But yeah this is like the little area of the living room. We have like the kitty condo here. We have a really pretty plant. I like that. This painting is from Master Sweet Stuff. We have a TV. We have a bookshelf which I really love from Seasons. Uh, leather sofas from University Life. Love them. Another coffee table. This egg we actually got from the Spring Festival little bit of clutter there just to make it homely um here we have our desk with our computer and you know the desk chair and painting here which i believe is of egypt you know i'm pretty sure but it's really really cute and then obviously we have the little the little toy box there for the for the pets 
and I did not realize that this was still here either. Oh gosh. Okay, so through here we have um, a kid's nursery because you will find out that my sim is actually a um, a babysitter. She's in the daycare nursery like um, profession. So she does that. So we basically have like two high chairs from the store, a uh, a dollhouse, you know, a toy chest and all stuff like that. All that good stuff in here. So, this is the downstairs. Obviously, like I said, it's not completely done. We still have work. But, you know, it's good for now. So, this is the hallway. It's very plain. Um, if you're wondering why there is a chest of drawers out here, it's because they're meant to be by here, but obviously crib situation uh we didn't have any room <laughs> so we have like a basic bathroom in here just you know really basic for now anyway <laughs> um in here we have our teenage boys room i really like this room it's really cute so um we have a university life bed with university life little hanging cube things so cute um the drawers, a laundry thing, and um, when he was a kid, he did scouting, so he has like a little scouting picture there, just another poster, um, you know, his prom photo, which is so cute, he was prom king as well, and um, his TV with his video game console thing. So, really, really love his room. And then we have a teenage daughter. Oh, yes, we do. And um, this is her bedroom. It's so cute. We have this. So, like, I can't remember where these are from exactly. I think they might be base game. I'm not sure. These are from Master Suite stuff, I believe. The painting is from Seasons. This is her little prom photo on the shelf here. <laughs> Um, pets curtains, I've just like put like a little custom content uh, pattern on them. Some little paintings here, a cute chair, she has her little, uh, her little music box she got off her mum for her birthday. I think it's like a ballerina one or something, it's really cute. It's just on the floor, don't ask me why. My favourite is mirror in the whole entire game, it's just so beautiful. Um, some flowers and she was prom queen when she went to prom as well some beautiful flowers here and also she was involved in scouting as well when she was a kitty wink so in here we have the master bedroom the parents bedroom very simple but I really like the color scheme the bed is from Island Paradise the drawers are from Island Paradise you know base game paintings on the wall um, I really love these uh, pets curtains if you didn't already know, um, store content flower, store content crib, so it's basically their bedroom is like very plain, very simple but I like it even though like I'll be changing it when we get more money in, doing the house again. So in here we have another bathroom as you can tell like all the bathrooms are the same, uh, just really simple until I can you know properly decorate I mean we've almost got 10,000 so we could do like a little bit more but not too much and I kind of want to do it like all in one go so to speak so this is the upstairs and then out in the garden it's just very simple we have like a little dining set a uh, barbecue grill a fire pit like all the flowers and then we have a garden and we have like so many gnomes I don't know where they're coming from like they're ridiculous we have a little bee box and you know over here we have two cars um i bought this one for the female sim and then the male sim actually came with this car so yeah so this is the house very very cool i know <laughs> so i guess i will introduce you to the sims and like obviously tell you the backstory and all that good stuff so as soon as she comes out of the shower I will uh, show you the female sim that I actually started off with. Um, I did start off with another male sim as well, but you'll understand why he's not here anymore. <laughs> so let me just change her into her everyday first. She's about to start her um, work, so she's just changed. 
but um this is the first sim that I started off with. Her name is Nicola Grant and uh, she is adorable. Um, the major backstory is that, you know, she moved in with her high school sweetheart. Um, his name is... Uh, oh my god, how can I forget his name? Justin Grant. So yeah, they were like together in high school. They moved to Sunset Valley and um, You know, they were living a happy life uh, Nic Nicole has always had like insecurities, you know, she's never been the classically pretty gorgeous sim that like boys fancy and want to like have and girls envy her she's never been that person she's always been insecure about that she's not like the classically beautiful woman and she's always known that and she was a lot bigger than this as well guys she has lost a lot of weight so it was always like dragging her down but she thought that Dustin you know he was a good guy he was never gonna do anything wrong he was always going to be with her and he didn't care about what she thought of herself because obviously he thought that she was beautiful and he loved her and stuff like that so obviously they wanted to have a family because she is all for kids I mean she's family oriented nurturing green thumb childish and ambitious so she always wanted a big family and you know she thought that Dustin was the perfect one yep so obviously they started trying for babies and stuff like that and it just wasn't happening um so you know they they didn't want to go and get help because they didn't have the financial um stability you know to get treatment and stuff like that so basically they adopted because it is a free service so they adopted so the first little baby they adopted was this amazing beautiful girl here her name is Harriet and she was their first child she's absolutely stunning and um, as you can tell <laughs> she actually has white hair and purple eyes so she is always the outcast you know she's not like anyone else I mean who has white hair and purple eyes like seriously but she's absolutely stunning I love her so yeah they adopted her as a baby she always knew that she was different because you know she didn't fit in with her parents like her dad had blonde hair she her mum had like bright ginger hair she was always like questioning herself you know why does she look a bit weird compared to everyone else but no she found out and she was perfectly fine with it and uh, she's just she's she's on her own like you know she's just gorgeous <laughs> she's stunning so she is a great kisser she can't stand out loves the outdoors and she's grumpy a little bit you know so yeah they had her and um, at that time something happened as they adopted Harriet Nicole found out that she was actually about to be pregnant so after all it actually worked you know they did try for a baby and it actually worked so they were like oh my gosh we just adopted and I'm pregnant like oh my god that's crazy so yeah they had this little fellow right here his name is Kane so yeah they had him just as they adopted and it was crazy but you know it happens so he loves the outdoors vegetarian heavy sleeper and he's an angler so he's that he's super adorable like i love him and this is like my favorite hair to use on teenage boys it's, it's just so cute so yeah they were living a happy life you know they had two children and they were just so happy and you know they just thought that the world was just perfectly all right for them you know so then um you know they were settling into sunset valley you know getting further in their careers being parents doing all that good stuff but then dustin was out one day and um he noticed that two new people moved in across the road and um it turned out that they were from his old high school and uh, it turns out that one of the females Ashley Livingston was one of the girls that he always always obsessed on 
in high school like so bad and he just fell for her instantly in high school and she was gorgeous um as she's aged up like her hairstyle has changed but she was absolutely stunning and uh she lived across the road so you know he would go over there and be like hey you remember me and stuff like that and they got talking again they became friends again and uh one day it just took a step far you know and um it was christmas eve i remember that it was christmas eve and nicole was wondering where he was and you know she saw him go across the street so she went over there things happened she found out that he cheated and they left each other and it had just exploded because Dustin went too far and he like kissed Ashley. It was absolutely crazy. Like I didn't even want Nicole to find out. I was gonna like let it go a little bit but she automatically found out so it was kind of crazy. So that happened. So then they broke up. He actually, um, we kicked him out so he actually left and he went over here. So he went to live in this massive, like, mansion house. Has he got a dog as well? What the? But yeah, this is his house now. Like, it's crazy how you, you kick Sims out and they go and live in these massive houses with no money. So yeah, he went to live there. And uh, they've never really spoken since. So it's kind of crazy. So then, um, after that, she met this wonderful wonderful man Michael Batchelor and obviously if you do play in Sunset Valley a lot you will notice this man you'll probably know who he is he's quite the popular sim and he is loves the outdoors schmoozer athletic cat person and friendly so she met him and basically he whisked her off her feet and he was like I don't care what problems you have I don't care you're amazing blah 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 <laughs> so then they got together, they're still boyfriend and girlfriend because they, they're taking things slow, they don't want to, you know, go right in. But um, obviously Nicole wanted a big family. So they had their first little baby, who actually ages up into a child soon, which is crazy. But he is slob and good, and this is Anthony, he is asleep right now, but he is so cute. So yeah, they had him not too long ago. And, you know, they're just basically starting over, being happier, stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so that is basically the whole story. You know, um, moral of the story, don't cheat because you mess everything up. But, yeah, it's been really, really fun to play with them because, obviously, we have the big twist and the family's got to try and get around it. And, uh... Yeah, so I believe that Grant is like, he's not with Ashley at the moment. No, he's not with her. But like, you know, he was like romantically involved with her, obviously, because he cheated. So the family's had to get around that. They're finally, you know, they're finally getting stronger again. They're finally getting their lives back on track and moving on for the whole thing. And um, they still see their dad like out and about and like they'll meet up with him but um Kane personally he he's not really bothered about him anymore you know he's let his relationship fade because of what he did but you know so guys I'm gonna stop rambling now but I really hope you've enjoyed my current household and I really hope that I can stay with this family and um yeah so I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you all in my very next video bye guys